Hey, I, have, I got 341 days sober, and next year's my 50th anniversary of show business. Let's do a fucking show, huh? <laughs> you know something people don't talk about in public anymore? Pussy farts. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> now I said that on my last HBO show, and apparently some people don't know what a pussy fart is, because I got some inquiries. Here's the deal. A pussy fart is like when you're making love to a woman who's got a little extra air in her vagina. And every time you thrust forward, it's kind of a <laughs> And the two of you are just lying there, each is wondering if the other one farted. And the man is usually thinking, maybe she farts when she comes. Maybe she took a shit. Man, I gotta stay out of that fucking bar. Another word you don't hear too often is dingleberries. You know, you never hear it on Meet the Press. The Dingleberry Solution, Dingleberry Gate, nothing. I think it's because Dingleberries is one of them words you don't say too much past your 10th birthday. It's not a grown-up's word. It's a kid's word. Dingleberries! Always sounded kind of Christmassy to me. Don't you think it has a holiday ring to it? Dingleberries. John, you might want to hang some Dingleberries over the front door. Then when Mary Ann comes over, she can kiss you under the dingleberries. It is to be devoutly wished that she would kiss me under the dingleberries. <laughs> Cornhole is another word you don't hear enough. You don't hear that nearly enough, you know? It's a good word, it's a solid word. It's a tough word, it's a man's kind of word. It's got a masculine sound. It's like, like, like shotgun and ash can and tow truck. Cornhole. Everything's been, everything's been sanitized now and cleaned up. First with these fucking Christians, you just start with them. You know, that's, I mean, you know, that's just one. Wait a minute, yeah, you know. But let's, let's not leave out these, these PC camp, campus liberal assholes. I mean, they're just as fucking bad from a different direction. But everything's different. Everything's been polished up now. It's anal intercourse, anal rape, bullshit, cornhole. Now, I'm a big fan of the uh, primetime crime shows. I like all of them pretty much, you know. I like Law and & Order and all the spinoffs of that. I like um, CSI and all of those spinoffs. Cause, yeah, because they're forensic shows, you know. And I'm just waiting for one night to be sitting there watching one of them shows. And, and the, uh, the chief medical examiner turns to the lead detective and says, Steve, looks to me like after they killed this guy, the perpetrators rolled him over and cornholed him about 30 or 40 fucking times. <laughs> That there is a posthumous multiple cornhole entry wound. In prison, it's a social activity. Yeah, it's right up there on the bulletin board. Checkers, handball, cornholing.